Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. We have tonight a beer from Clown Shoes. This is their Black Currant Saison. It's an ale, blue, ale brewed with black currant puree. Um, the BR and the BL sounds apparently are tripping me up right there. So, Saisons, mm, I'm not sure what to expect from this one because Clown Shoes usually does a great job with beers and I am hardly ever disappointed. But Saisons don't tend to be my favorite category of beer. I think it has to do with something about the sourness that the uh, the, ten, the wild yeasts um, that they tend to use in farmhouse styles, uh, such as Saisons, actually impart. Now, I don't have a problem with sour beers. Um, Fruited sour beers or just plain sour sour beers usually go over pretty well, but there's something about the particular sourness from wild yeasts in um, Saisons and um, Lambics that really kind of turns me off in general. So, like I said, the clown shoes hardly ever disappoint, so let's see what we have here and what we're working with. Well, that's got an interesting color to it. Like almost a lavender, rose lavender color. I don't know how to describe that. Um, definitely heavy on that black currant puree. I mean, look at that. That is a, that's basically, that's a pink beer. Look at the head on that. That is pink. And the beer itself, uh, more of a rosy color, maybe tending towards a purple, but it's, it's definitely a pink pink. So, if nothing else, it's definitely an interesting color in that beer. Uh, it does look like it's slightly cloudy, and there is some light coming through. Not much in terms of effervescence. I'm not seeing a lot of bubbles coming up, although I did get a decent head put on it, so it had a pretty decent amount of um, carbonation in there to begin with. It's actually a rather lovely looking beer. I like the color of that. I wonder what it would look like in a smaller glass, where it would be thinner. And probably look more like this bottom part here, where it's got a lighter rosy color to it. But definitely a unique color for the beer. Well, I have seen a couple of pink or reddish ones recently, but this one, definitely a unique shade. Not really getting much in the aroma. Uh, a little bit of fruitiness, maybe, maybe some sourness. Um, not a whole lot coming through in the aroma. Interesting. Hmm. It's got a nice medium mouthfeel. Mildly sour up front, although not the off-putting sour that I was expecting. Um, there's an undertone of that, that wild yeast flavor. Uh, it's hard to describe, but you, you know it when you recognize it. Um, it's almost like a dank, earthy, sour like wildness to it. Like, um, I don't know, I, again, it's very difficult to describe it just dank and earthy and and kind of sour and different in, in different from dank and earthy hop notes but there's a particular character to those wild yeast but it's not unpleasant and, and I'm surprised because I wasn't expecting it to be a pleasant taste for me because again I, I'm not a big fan of the wild yeasts but And that fruitiness and the currant is definitely coming through in the finish. Um, not getting a lot of particular hop notes, not picking up on much of the graininess in it. And this one seems to be all about putting the wild yeast forward and just having that black currant um, follow it up, which makes it very interesting and very different. 
Um, I think I'm giving it some extra points because I'm surprised by how much I'm actually enjoying a Saison because they don't, again, tend to be my favorites because of that wild yeast flavor. But this doesn't have the unpleasant aspects of the wild yeast, just the interesting ones. So um, kudos on that, guys. I think overall I'm going to put this at a 4 out of 5. Uh, I'm not really getting wowed by a particular complexity of it, um, but I am really enjoying it, and especially more than, than I expected to enjoy it. Um, there's, again, it's it's up front with the yeast characteristic, and then followed with that black currant taste, and there's not a whole lot else going on there, for me anyway, so... Again, um, I'm surprised by it. It's a 4 out of 5 for me. Let me know what you think about the beer. Hit me up down below uh, in the comments, the email section. Let me know what you have to say about it, if you agree or disagree, or if you picked up on some different flavors that I'm not. Uh, while you're down there, make sure to click the like and share buttons, and then definitely subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video mostly beer reviews, there are some liquor reviews that go up, and then there's some other assorted stuff that you might find amusing. Until um, next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.